Come all ye young fellas that follow the sea to me away. Okay, so uh, I am now on the penultimate ship. That is the second to the last for those of you who actually like to use words in their proper fashion. It's the Bloody Reaver. The Bloody Reaver. Uh, so I did something I probably shouldn't have done with this ship, um, aside from setting this down in paint. Uh, I tried to do sub-assemblies on this, and I don't think that's a way to go <laughs> with this ship. <laughs> I think this one really needs to be painted and then assembled, and I hate doing that, and I hate doing that because I hate going back and cleaning up seam lines uh, after I've done paint, which means I paint and then assemble and then repair and then paint again. So, But I, I don't think there's any easy way around that here. Um, because of the way these sails go together. Uh, they actually sit <clears throat> inside these little slots here and uh, yeah so it's kind of a kind of a pain and I really kind of wish that I had uh, left it all apart. So anyway, I would recommend that when it comes time to do this ship yourself, paint everything, then assemble. But uh, right now I'm primarily focused on uh, the sails. And uh, specifically right now, doing this script. Now let me tell you first about uh, the colors. So they, they tell you how in the in the White Dwarf article they, they give you the purples but they don't actually talk about the iconography and uh, what colors to go with that. So I looked at it and decided that what they probably used was Deneb stone as a base and uh, so I did everything in Deneb stone and then I washed it uh, with Griffin, uh, Griffin Sepia, which I really like. Uh, and then I actually did more washes of Griffin Sepia over the uh, scroll uh, on both of these. Uh, and then went back over the skeletal portions uh, with more of the Deneb stone. And I think the results are pretty nice, and I think it's fairly close to... Uh, to the studio model and I liked how it turned out. Now as far as the script goes, um, actually handwriting script is something I've been practicing a lot more recently. I, I was one of those things I was never good at and I wanted to get better at it. So I've been practicing and what I've done is I start with pencil which is what is on here now which means that I can write it in and if I don't like how it turns out I can erase and go back and try it again. So I do pencil and uh, then I'm going to go back over that with uh, paint and a brush. Um, I could also go back over that with uh, my handy Micron uh, pen but I like how it looks with a, uh, a brush and I do get a little bit more control in this particular situation so that's what I'm going to do. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, when I finish that, I will come back and I'll share. Okay, so there it is. After, uh, after brushing the paint in. By the way, I could not find... Uh, what they had written on this sail um, and in fact I think in the uh, the photos for the painting tutorial there's nothing written on the sail <laughs> for that one but in the uh, earlier in the magazine you can see an S uh, on the sail 
on on that particular painted model. So I went with the name of the uh, of the Captain Noctilus. Uh, anyway, so now that that's completed, I'm going to go in and uh, finish the masts and the other bits on the masts, and then I'll look at tackling the rest of the ship. So I'm going to go. Okay, well, it's uh, it's actually been a couple of days since the last segment of video that you saw. Uh, and as you can tell, some work has been done. Um, pretty happy with how this came out. Uh, this is, hands down, the most difficult of the ships. The, um, the assembly process as I think I mentioned before, uh, you really should follow the advice in the magazine, which is paint first, then assemble. The little bit of assembly that I did prior to painting was not a good idea. But uh, in the end, I think it all came out well. Um, I did, for the most part, follow the, uh, the, the white dwarf suggestions as far as color um, but I think I went a little bit more weathered on the uh, hulls than the studio version because you know this looks like a, a hulk you know a, a, a mashup selection of ruined ships and nobody's out there scrubbing the barnacles and repainting the sections of, uh, <laughs> of ship hull, so I thought it really needs to be uh, a little bit more uh, dirty, weathered. So that's what I did, and the real sort of cool parts are the, uh, are the sails. You know what's really a shame is that uh, this sort of back sail in here is in my opinion, the best looking of the bunch. Uh, and it came out really, really well. And perhaps I can do something to get that to focus properly. There it is. Uh, you can't even really tell. But that one came out really good, and it's completely hidden uh, behind this ginormous sail up front which also came out well, but I like the other one better. So, uh, yeah, so this is pretty much done. <clears throat> and I've got a, uh, a lot of bowers in this one. It's, it's not, an easy, not an easy model. I think I'm gonna keep saying that because it's true. But the final results are pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so that one is complete. I'll put that up there. And now on to the next one. Just getting started. But this is the very, very last ship. And then I have uh, this little dragon. And uh, this guy here, this little undead thing, and uh, then the tiny little ships and such. Uh, those shouldn't take too long, but then I'll be complete. But we're getting on close to uh, Christmas time, and uh, hopefully it'll do be done before then. And anyway, that's it for now, and uh, I will see you all later. Well, uh, it's been a couple of days since my last recording. Actually, it's been more like uh, four days. Uh, today is Thursday the 15th. Uh, last time I recorded was on Sunday. So this video is actually encompassing like two weeks, <laughs> two weeks of work, most of which uh, you're not seeing, unfortunately. But 
I'm getting close to the end, and this always happens when I get to the end of the project. Uh, I'm more focused on completing the project than I am on shooting the video, and I have to apologize to you viewers for that, but it is a necessity um, based on uh, the fact that this project needs to get done, I need to get paid, and I need to move on to the next project because it's, it's waiting for me. Uh, so let's take a look really quick at uh, what you have not seen me do. Um, so uh, this is my final ship. It's not complete, but uh, the Sea Drake is nearing completion. There we go. And I'm liking how that's turning out. The uh, the dolphins or whatever those are in the water still need a little bit of a uh, little bit of work. The sails are not yet painted. They're waiting for paint, and that's going to be one of the things I do today. Uh, I like how the dragon turned out. And speaking of the dragon, I have its mate here, who also turned out rather well, in my opinion. Uh, still need to do the base. Here, let's put him out here where you might actually be able to see him. There you go. And this guy was, he's been something I was noodling on, on and off, uh, while working on bigger parts of the project. Again, happy with that. Very happy with that. So today, uh, sails on the Sea Drake, and then uh, what else? Oh, right. Uh, finish up this dragon, uh, and then work on these little pieces, and that's it. You know, I, I, I'm <laughs> this project has been going on for so long now, I feel like, really? That's all? Um, but yes, it appears that that's it. Once I'm done with, once I'm done with this, these little bits and this ship, then the project is complete. Uh, I am going to be taking these out into the, uh, into the studio for some photo work. Uh, I actually don't know if I will complete all this today. It, it, it looks doable, but sometimes the little things uh, can really get you. You know, they uh, it's like, oh yeah, I can just knock that out, and then you realize, oh no, that's actually a lot of little work. That's a lot of work. Um, I know these, these ships look very simple, but each one of them is going to have a, a little bit of sail uh, insignia. So that's going to be a little bit of extra work. So even if even if we just said, you know, say 45 minutes to an hour for each of these, that's like all day. <laughs> so maybe not done today. Uh, hopefully I will be able to also work on this stuff on Sunday. Um, but with the holiday shopping being the way that it is, uh, that's it's not guaranteed at all. Um, I may actually have to be at the store all day, so I won't get much done. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to go to work because, well, I need to get this done, and I will hopefully talk to you again later. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Lying in the morning, way up she rises, way up she rises, way up she rises. Lying in the morning, put him in a longboat till he's sober. Put him in a longboat till he's sober. Put him in a longboat till he's sober. Lying in the morning, way up she rises, way up she rises, way up she rises. Pull out the plug and wipe them all over. Pull out the plug and wipe them all over. Pull
pull out the plug and put them all over her lie in the morning. Way up she rises, way up she rises, way up she rises, her lie in the morning. Put them in the bilge and make them drink it, put them in the bilge and make them drink it, put them in the bilge and make them drink it, lie in the morning. Way up she rises, way up she rises, way up she rises, her lie in the morning. Shave his belly with a rusty razor, shave his belly with a rusty razor, shave his belly with a rusty razor, her lie in the morning. Way up she rises, way up she rises, way up she rises, her lie in the morning. Heave him out of the lake with a running bowline, heave him out of the lake with a running bowline, heave him out of the lake with a running bowline, her lie in the morning. Way up she rises, way up she rises, way up she rises. Lie in the morning. Keel haul him until he's over. Keel haul him until he's over. Keel haul him until he's over. Lie in the morning. Way in up she rises. Way in up she rises. Way in up she rises. Lie in the morning. That's what we do with the drunken sailor.